Hi, everyone. It's good to see you and welcome. Uh, we're very excited to talk to you about some of the research assistant opportunities that we have here. I am going to talk to you a little bit about what Berkman is and um, the kinds of educational opportunities we have. The Berkman Klein Center for Internet and Society is an inter internet and society research center uh, that's uh, administratively housed in the law school, but has um, faculty and projects uh, from across the institution. So we have a strong presence and a strong relationship with the law school, but we also have work that's done um, in the business school and the Kennedy School, the design school, et cetera. So some of the topics um, that might typically uh, be uh, Berkman Klein type topics would be uh, mis and disinformation, social media, uh, technology and the law, um, and, and, and many other things as well. We have projects that are sort of internal BKC projects, and that's the one, those are the ones we're talking to you about today. Um, in addition to that, we have um, uh, a, a large community of scholars of, of different kinds um, uh, who have fellowships uh, with us or uh, other kinds of affiliations. Um, and they are very much part of our ecosystem um, and how we think about the, the work and the topics that we do. In addition to that, we have other ways that sometimes Harvard students get involved. Um, they often take classes with our faculty. Um, and you can find a list of our faculty on the website um, by going to our people page and selecting faculty directors. Um, we also have uh, Harvard faculty who are not directors, but uh, faculty associates, and they also teach classes. In the summer, we often run an internship program um, and that like the RAs, which are positions in which you work on a particular project, uh, you you would the the are the interns who 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 are part of the summer program also do that, but in addition to that, um, they also uh, ha are part of a broader program where they meet other students and they have some programming that's across the groups and um, and it's a nice opportunity to keep an eye out for uh, because that's when we 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 often have quite a few people in that program. So our RAs are involved in our projects in a wide range of ways, um, and it really is going to depend on the project, what they're working on at that time, what their needs are, and also the RAs uh, skills and interests that they're bringing to the table. So some examples of RA work to give a little bit of context could be literature reviews, uh, landscape analyses, uh, working with data, uh, writing, helping to organize online convenings or uh, outputs related to something a project is working on. Um, and you know, this work can really be, you know, task based or it can be more project based work. So it's going to be it's going to range from project to project and from what those projects are doing at that time and are working on at that time. Definitely will include some kind of regular check in. It could include written feedback, um, likely will if you're doing lit reviews or drafting, um, drafting blog posts and things like that. Um, and it might include some team meetings as well. Um, and the intensity of the work really depends on the project. Um, I have one RA that I meet with like every two weeks. We don't do much in between. He goes off and does some literature review research, um, but we don't meet and don't, we're not in, in frequent touch in between. We've had other RAs that were really deeply engaged with for a couple of weeks in the run up to a workshop or another program, like working with them every week um, and closer to the session, like even every day. Yes, if they have varying needs and varying time frame, but we might recommend with starting with one project, especially as you're a student, you'll have a lot of classes, you have other responsibilities. Um, we found it can be best to engage, you know, more deeply with one project, learn from there, maybe from there you might find another project that you could work with across the center. But broadly, you should have an interest in the issue area that the project is working on, um, curiosity to learn more, and an enthusiasm to really dig in and like try and um, try and make some contributions across the team, whatever your project is.
Some roles might be looking for more experience, like someone who's taken a relevant class or done a prior RA gig that's relevant, maybe who has a specific skill set, like is really skilled at doing literature reviews or really skilled at doing data analysis, um, but it will depend on the project. Typically, we try to post jobs. We, you know, we talk to projects at the beginning of the semester and try to encourage people to post job, you know, jobs if they're looking to hire for that semester. So we'll typically do that, you know, every fall and every spring. Um, and then the timeline. <clears throat> so yeah, not all positions are a year long. Some might be a year long. Um, it just depends on the project and you know how long a particular initiative is. Start dates, end dates hours per week, those specifics are going to be varying by the role that you're being hired for. Um, again, it could just be a small amount, a few hours a week. It could be something that lasts two, three weeks. It could be something that lasts several months. So um, those will be more specifics uh, about each specific to each job. As far as our process for working with RAs in the academic year, we do post a job description for each individual you know, RA position. Um, so our website is the best place to check back for more information on that. Um, and each job posting will contain details on how you can apply to the job. Um, so usually, usually during the academic year, that's by email. Um, and some job postings may just be looking for one RA and other job postings may be looking for, you know, a team of RAs. During the academic year, um, RAs do need to be actively enrolled Harvard students. It could be undergraduate or graduate, but just being actively enrolled is, um, you know, an important piece of the eligibility for our international students, any international students who might be interested. Um, eligibility is going to depend on your particular circumstances. We have hired international um, Harvard students in the past to do RA work. It just depends on having a conversation with uh, the, HF, the Harvard International Office. The standard pay rate for this work is $20 an hour. Harvard students can work um, a maximum of 20 hours per week for all Harvard jobs during the semester. What that means is if you have, you know, another Harvard job that you work 10 hours a week for, you could work as an RA with us for 10 hours a week. So it just needs to be under 20 hours per week during the semester. Um, and that increases over the summertime when classes aren't in session.